Hello, my name is Susan Magnano, and I'm a professional photographer and workshop leader. I spend a lot of my time living on the road, so I need a camera that matches my lifestyle. So like so many of you, I'm looking for a rugged, lightweight, and camera that sparks my creativity. And today, I'm excited to share with you a camera that may check all those boxes and more. This is Ohm Systems new OM1 Mark II. I've been in the photography industry for over 20 years and I've tried all sorts of gear. And the OM1 is one of my favorites because I wanted a camera that didn't compromise quality over portability. I wanted something small and rugged and something with a lot of unique features like computational photography features that allow me to get really creative with my night photography and my light painting. So let's see if the OM1 Mark II is gonna convince me to upgrade. This impressive micro four third system comes with a 20 megapixel sensor with image quality that rivals that of a full frame camera. The stacked VSI live MOS sensor ensures remarkable resolution, minimal noise and vibrant colors. It carries the TruePix 10 engine, which delivers up to three times faster processing power. The cross quad pixel autofocus delivers 1,053 points, all cross type that cover 100% of the sensor for high precision focusing. This camera could be the perfect adventure camera to explore your creativity. The OM1 Mark II is paving the way with their computational photography features with adding the world's first graduated ND filter feature. This feature harnesses the power of computational photography to replicate the effect of half of the ND filter. You can also use soft, medium, or hard transitions, and you can also choose if you wanna auto-rotate the lens, or even you can flip the filter on the other side for some creative effects. I found the graduated filter to be really interesting. It balanced the light of the sky in the foreground. But as with all ND filters, it's a challenge. If you have any structures that rise above the horizon, then they get dark as well, as you can see in the picture of my skyline. But it is a really neat feature. Another con though, is that you can't add it with your other ND filter. So you can't use your GND and your ND filter at the same time. I hope that this changes in the future. I found the graduated neutral density filter effect very interesting. It does work on balancing the sky and the foreground. And you can leave those breakable and bulky filter kits at home. Pro Capture also has some new updates. For those of you who are not familiar with what Pro Capture is, it's like a magical time traveling feature. When you press the shutter halfway down, the camera automatically starts shooting at 120 frames per second. The pictures are being recorded into a memory buffer. And when you press the shutter fully down, you'll be storing the moments that were in the past as well as the current one. Pro Capture mode is improved with the expanded buffer memory of approximately 99 pictures and an increase from the OM170. Pro Capture is extremely helpful when you're trying to capture a once in a lifetime moment, like at a wedding, or in a decisive moment, like in street photography or wildlife photography. So here's an example of when I was waiting for someone to walk into the middle of my scene. And I started pressing the trigger right as they were coming into the scene with Pro Capture. I was pressing halfway down. So, and then when she got right into the center, I pressed it fully down. So in the end, I actually liked the pictures taken before she was in the center. So by using Pro Capture, I was able to capture that precise moment. Also, it's great for taking pictures of birds, especially if you want them to be in a certain scene like when they're right in the middle of your cityscape, or if you want them to be taking off or landing. Here's another update, and it says in sequential shooting, you can now capture approximately 219 frames in JPEG or 213 frames in RAW. This is a dramatic improvement in high-speed shooting capability from the OM1's approximately 92 frames each. So let's talk about the build and quality of the OM1 Mark II. You may notice that it looks very familiar to that of the OM1, 
but there's one major change. They've retired the Olympus logo, and now they're embracing the OM Systems logo. The camera is also rated at IP53, which is splash proof, freeze proof, even dust proof. And trust me, I put it to the test this weekend where it was raining, freezing, foggy, and at some point sunny. But it's really a great time to see how this camera held up and it held up great. The camera has a fully articulating screen, which is helpful when you wanna see yourself. So it's also really helpful when I do my light painting because I'm able to watch my light painting happen in real time using the live comp feature. Let's talk about megapixels. Now, we did not get that bump in megapixels like we we're hoping for. But before you storm away, don't forget, we have high res features. Using sensor shift technology, the OM1 Mark II can capture much higher resolution. There are two options, the tripod mode and the handheld mode. The tripod mode will provide 80 megapixel image where the handheld mode will provide a 50 megapixel shot. I typically use high res when I'm moved by a scene or a moment. I think I really wanna capture this in the maximum amount of megapixels so I can process it later and do something special with it. And the perk of having a small sensor means there's more in-body stabilization the OM1 Mark II is industry leading in image stabilization performance, which provides up to 8.5 stops of camera shake compensation. This means you can shoot at lower speeds. I love shooting at blue hour. I've shot some exposures that were two to even four seconds long and house, and they were sharp. Another perk is that you can leave your tripod at home. OM1 Mark II has enhanced eye detection, which feels like a camera of the future as it leverages artificial intelligence to identify and track subjects with remarkable precision and speed. It can detect humans, cars, planes, trains, birds, and animals. I found it really successful as I tracked squirrels and birds around the park. I did find that the AI tracking was super helpful when I was trying to hunt for animals in the park. It found their eyes and their heads very easily. I did detect that if there were multiple animals in the scene, it would typically go to the one closest to the camera. But if there was like a branch in the way, it would still find their faces. So I thought it was super helpful. I love capturing the passing of time, whether it's the water sailing through the pylons overlooking Manhattan, or it's the waves crashing on the rocks in front of the Brooklyn Bridge. It's just something so magical about capturing something that your eyes can't see. And having a live ND filter built into this camera is really amazing. A new feature for the OM-1 Mark II is having a ND-128 which is the equivalent of a seven stop filter built into it. This is incredible for doing long exposures, handheld. Focus stacking is another one of my favorite computational modes. You can shoot up to 15 frames and it compiles it into one image. You also get all the originals as well. You can choose between a narrow or a wide differential. One thing I noticed though, is in the compiled shot, it actually crops in a little bit. So if you're gonna use that shot, make sure you leave a little bit of extra space. The OM1 Mark II has a variety of HDR features. Some of them composite the pictures in camera, while the other ones take individual pictures that you can compile together afterwards. I decided to try out the method where it composites the pictures in camera, and it was great at sunset. I was able to see the difference between the highlights and the shadows and see how it was able to blend the picture better. Also, I did it after it got dark and I was able to do a composite of the bridge being very brightly lit. The multi-exposure tool is probably the funnest and the easiest tool to get creative with on this camera. Basically, once you turn it on, you take a picture and then you can see it faintly on your LCD screen or in your viewfinder. And then you can line it up with your next shot. 
If you put on auto gain, that prevents your picture from overexposing. And if you turn on overlay, you can use a picture from your camera roll with the current situation that you're shooting now. It is a really, really fun and cool creative tool. I really enjoy using multi-exposure on architecture. I like flipping it around, upside down, making things look like doubles and duplicates of themselves, or even shooting an architecture scene, like a city skyline, with the clouds. You can get really creative with this. The live comp feature is actually one of my favorite features on this camera. It's the reason why I bought the OM-1. It allows you to do long exposure photography without overexposing the highlights. Also, it allows you to see the development of your image as the time goes on. So I use this a lot for my light painting or my luminescent portraits. It allows me to see the picture and to create in almost real time. I feel like because of this system, I'm able to truly be the artist that I wanted to be. This camera is great for shooting video. It shoots 4K60 and also vertical video. So when you're doing your next social media content and you need vertical video, this camera is perfect. It also uses all the image stabilizing techniques so you can do some walking and video at the same time and it'll keep your camera very steady. The Mzuko 150-600mm is an f5 to f6.3 image stabilized lens whose reach is unmatched. It is a 300 to 1200 millimeter with the 35 millimeter equivalent. Look at this size. I mean, this is small compared to other lenses of this caliber. And I've used this and this is super sharp. You know, I'm all about traveling light and bringing lenses that fit in my small bag. But on certain occasions like safaris or wildlife outings, I would totally consider bringing this lens. This lens has a five axis sync of image stabilization that offers seven stops of compensation. Making sure that you can hand hold this lens at 1200 millimeters. This is great for wildlife photography, so you can leave that tripod at home. The body has a sync image stabilization and an IPXI weather seal. You can also capture small delicate subjects like butterflies effortlessly and achieving at 0.7x magnification at 0.53 focus distance. Keep your eyes on the prize. This lens has quick access features to focus limiter, focus mode, image stabilizing settings, and a programmable lens function button. I have had a blast creating with this camera over the past weekend and it does make me consider upgrading. I also felt very liberated not being weighed down by my tripod or my filter kit. The OM-1 Mark II is seamlessly combines technology and creativity by offering the convenience of built-in live ND filters, focus stacking, multi-exposures, HDR, and even high-res images. Some of the biggest concerns we've had about Micro Four Thirds being resolution, noise, depth of field are now being addressed or fixed in camera or simple post-processing software. So why carry around a big heavy camera? In summary, this camera isn't just about the specs. It's about the immersive experience. It's about how it brings fun and creativity back into photography. It actually motivates me to capture moments in unique ways. So I want you to think about it. When was the last time your camera did that? I'm Susan Magnano, Life's a Journey, and I hope to see you on it. Thanks so much.